Soul Food Coffee House, but this is Songwriters in Seattle. So uh, anybody here not know what that is? Anyone? Okay, so Songwriters in Seattle, there are about a thousand members, and you go online and you sign up, and they uh, set you up to sing at different venues all around the Seattle and Eastside area, and the third Saturday of every month is when so uh, Soul Foods has theirs, so super exciting. So we'll have all original songs tonight, and uh, Kevin and I will end the night for you at 8.30. So we have our first performer, Keith, right? What's your last name, Keith? Uh, Livingston. Livingston, okay. Oh, here's, this is for you. That's for, oh, this is a list of all your names. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Let's put our hands together for Keith Livingston. Isn't that kind of a strange expression, put your hands together? Everybody says it, but why don't they just say clap? So it's spring now, right? Everybody happy it's spring? I'm going to do a song about spring. It's called Fourth of July. Thank you, Redmond. Thank you. 
All right, I'm trying to make up my mind what I was going to do next. Let's see. That one was about spring. I'm going to do a brand new song called Every Love Song is About You. That, that previous song was from about 1990. This one is from 2015, 2014, 2015. It's a love song. It's called Every Love Song is About You. And by the way, I write all these myself and I record all these myself. This is all me which is the way I like it. up is 
And by catchy, I mean super repetitive. You'd think it'd be easy to remember my own lyrics. <laughs> this is a song about um, a bad spy. You know, there's all kinds of James, James Bond and Jason Bourne, but there just aren't enough songs written about a mediocre spy. And at this, I, I have a couple of songs about this character. And at this arc in his career, he, he came in as, as an idealistic, patriotic guy. And now he's becoming disillusioned, as you would if you were a spy, wouldn't you? Yeah, especially if you were a bad spy. It's called Dangerously Yours. And by the way, Kevin, this monitor mix sounds absolutely perfect. Thank you. Choice was clear to be a spy was your career. But maybe you're not so sure. Now that it's dangerously yours, you read their lies when you. Young, the overcoats, the flashing guns. Maybe a different thought occurs, and it's dangerously yours. You're writing home. For one more day I'm heading out for Eastern shores Dangerously life to leave your mark but you're just closer to the storm in a life that's dangerous How much time do I have? What time is it? I have 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, let's just stretch it out then, shall we?
This is a bookstore, right? How many people have read Stanislaw Lim? Stanislaw Lim. One. All right. He wrote Solaris, which is, in, you know, in my mind kind of is not his best book, but he's my favorite science fiction author. Jeez, I am a geek, aren't I? All right, this song is called A Stanislaw Lim. It's about spring. I was just toying with the idea. I've got some friends here, and I was just toying with the idea of saying, hey, okay, it's time for my friends to come up and sing a number and just seeing if they freaked out. But uh, I guess I won't do that now. Everyone is surprised. I'd like to thank Soul Food for having us out here. And, you know, this Songwriters in Seattle thing, it's, a gr it's really a great organization. I've been a member for three or four years now. And, and they support local music and support local songwriters, and they arrange things like this that so you can come out and hear you know local songwriters and singers and whatnot for and people like me for free it's really cool so there's a table over there with some s songwriters in seattle merch by the way you can find me at keithlivingston.com there's an ep down there for you to download ep there for you to download this one is called freedom If I could breathe the 
stay alive I fill my lungs for one more time I take the plunge I take the ride first chance that I got and when I hit the other side I be my dream I'd like to do the saddest song ever written, I think. I'm in the mood just to kind of mess with you tonight. This one's called Black Is. It's a happy tune, and uh, I just want you to know I'm not in this place anymore.
the side of you grow small and as you leave your shadow grows tall I'm bursting at the seams black is anger Now that, I've, now that I've, you know, the phrase brought the house down can have several different meanings. Here's uh, for my last one tonight, and again, songwriters in Seattle, thank you. Thank you, Soul Food Books. Uh, there's more, more great people up coming up next. I don't know their names because I've never met most of them, except for Gene is up next. So stick around for Gene. What's your last name, Gene? Zeeler. All right. Uh, this one is a love song. It's called She's the One. She wasn't.
Thank you. I don't remember who I wrote that song about, but I've told many people that it's been about them. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Keith. That was fabulous. We got Jean coming up next. And, um, and Keith, you did a great job of talking about the table over there. You're hired. Yeah. You start tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> so there's CDs and there's shirts and there's a, a way to sign up if you want to be a part of Songwriters in Seattle. And I'm going to let them set up because I don't have any good jokes today. There you are. <laughs> All right, let's uh, clap for Gene Zeeler. The, the sound of the clapping makes you sound like a much bigger crowd than you really are. Are you getting what you need up there, sound person Kevin? Thank you. Well, my thanks to Keith. Where'd he go? I didn't realize this was going to be a battle of the bands. Uh, I this is just good old-fashioned folk music. Stuff that I made up. Life is tearing me apart And I can't stand the strain Bringing phones and pain
when things are going right and I can find some peace of mind to get me through the night you were lying close to me as the twilight slips away that would be enough That's one of the songs about my day job. I'm a, uh, on the medical school faculty at UW. Sometimes that the work creeps into the songs a little bit. So one of the exercises in songwriting workshops and songwriting classes is to give the class a line or uh, a couple of lines and they have to write a song with that line in it. And, s and usually it doesn't work and work out and turn into a terrific song, but occasionally there's a keeper. And this is one of the songs that came out of a, a workshop and that the line that we were given was, congratulations, you're right again. Which is a tough song to write, a uh, tough line to write into a song because congratulations is a five syllable word that's not really very singable. But here's, but here's the way it came out. my song too, Keith. <laughs> Many aggravations that life puts in the way. <laughs> What's the next line? That I should rise above I'm trying to be thankful for My health and home and all your love Those stressful situations That life puts in the way They fade when I remember What I have every day Yes, you're right to tell me not to sweat The little things that I regret your right to say be satisfied just slow down enjoy the ride I need to be reminded what a lucky guy I am congratulations you're right again is the glass half empty or half full help me Stand. These little talks we're having make me a better man. Cause you're right to tell me not to sweat the little things that I regret. You're right to say be satisfied. Just 
Just slow down, enjoy the ride. I need to be reminded what a lucky guy I am. Congratulations, you're right again. And misery has no company when we're walking hand in hand. Congratulations. You know, you don't forget the same words all the time, do you? It just sort of comes in. You can't remember. When. So um, I've been to a bunch of songwriting workshops uh, in various places, including Nashville. And, it, and in at least in Nashville, songs about guitars are kind of a genre. And uh, it seems like most songwriters have one, so I thought I should have one. And I decided to write a song about... Um, my Martin D-18 that uh, I got when I was very young because I started taking guitar lessons in the 60s. And now that, that Martin D-18 is a vintage guitar. So I started writing the song. And it wasn't going well because it came out kind of cliched. You know, I, like, I love my guitar. I'll never sell my guitar. My guitar is cool. Um, so... Uh, I changed the point of view, and that made the song. Uh, and that made the song. Oh, and, and do you know what th the ter term dreadnought refers to? You probably do. You, the, sh the shape of this guitar is the dreadnought, right? The dreadnought is, a, um, is uh, named after a battleship, a British battleship that was about this shape. And if you floated this, and put a smokestack on top of it, it would look like a dreadnought battleship and cut off the neck. But so you, th that, that, that comes into the song. That I don't know. It was almost 50 years ago that I was made to play. Born in 1959 in Nazareth, PA. And I felt the sweet vibrations from my head down to my heel When the hands of a Massachusetts boy brought life to wood and steel I played this land is your land and we shall overcome In a coffee house in Boston, 1961 We sang songs to protest That boy's senior year in the mud on Yasmer's farm. I'm a loud and glossy, x braced box of spruce and mahogany, named for the British battleship that sailed the cold North Sea. Some ebony, tortoise shell, and six deluxe machines. I'm a vintage dreadnought steel guitar, a Martin. been lying in this cardboard case in an attic all these years. I can't plug in. I don't rock out. My sound just isn't cool. No one wants acoustic tones where the Stratocaster rules. But I can still remember all the words and melodies. I hear that Massachusetts boy playing freight train in 
Any questions so far? Um, uh, I, I don't know. I would have had to. Actually, d most, of, most of the things in that song are actually true, unlike the rest of my songs. Um, yeah. You know, it may not have been either. That, that may be an untrue. I may have just done it to work for the song, which is perfectly legal. You never, never let the uh, facts get in the way of the truth. That's a songwriter thing. I mean, the, the facts are what happened. The truth is what works in the song. Here's a song about um, second chances. That's a theme I like a lot. And fatherly advice, which maybe so some of my adult children are here and they're smiling now. I was ten years old that summer day, and it was my turn to shine. In the batter's box, my cap pulled down low, a little league game on line. That ball flew by like a shooting star, the umpire called strike three. I thought that my life was over, till Dad took the bat my shoulder he smiled and told me you learn from mistakes step back up to the plate and get ready to try again there's always one more spin get ready to show you've got it down when your first second chance comes Now my little girl is ten years old and she's growing up so fast. She wants to show me how well she can do in her first horse riding class. But then her horse stumbles, she loses her grip and tumbles onto the grass. She thinks that her life is over. So we sit on the fence and I hold her. Then I whisper, hang on to the rain. Someday you'll gallop away. So get ready to try again. There's always one more spin. Get ready to show you've got it down when your first chance comes around. I went for it all, kept my eye on the ball, and finally hit my home run. Take a father's advice, chances always come twice, and two tries are better than one. So get ready to try again. There's always one more spin. Get ready to show you've got it down. When your first second chance comes around When your first second chance comes around
This is a fairly new song, which I haven't played very much for people. I'm still sort of trying it out. It's a song about a song, sort of a song within a song, maybe. It's about a song that about a song, a song about a song that doesn't really exist. It's called "My Last Song Is For You." It's because it's a love song. It's my. You you got a you got a what was the title of your lo love song? I belong to about you. That it reminded that title. It, it, they're not the same. Don't 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 sue me. It's showtime, and the room is full. From sad songs, always making cry. 